Hello and welcome to my presentation of If the Moon Were Made of Barbecue Spare Ribs, The Comedic Approach to Heliocentrism by Robert Giordano. I'd like to first start off by telling you that all perceptions of the solar system are definitely not correct. It's not just limited to geocentrism and heliocentrism. Um, I'd like to illustrate this by showing you a, uh, an SNL skit uh, from the 90s with Will Ferrell being portrayed as Harry Carey trying to convince Jeff Goldblum that the sun is not a star uh, but a planet. So sit back and I hope you enjoy this skit. you enjoyed that skit I know I did but that further illustrates the uh, the fact that perceptions of the solar system as, as, as you know recent as uh, the 90s were were far off um, so let me go back to what heliocentrism means it's the astronomical model in which the earth and the stationary Sun at the center of our solar system now the opposition to heliocentrism is geocentrism which placed the Earth at the center and the planets including the Sun revolving around the Earth. Uh, this debate of heliocentrism versus geocentrism have been going on for hundreds of hundreds of years. Um, it started kind of with uh, a gentleman named Ptolemy. Uh, he conferred to the, uh, the Roman Catholic Church who at the time was really in charge of Europe uh, and, and pretty much most of the world. But Ptolemy conferred to them that uh, the geocentric model was was really the best model, if not the model, to follow. Uh, and the church uh, went with it because he offered the most mathematical support uh, that didn't conflict with their biblical stories at the time. So they certainly uh, wanted to go with that. Uh, then came along a guy named Copernicus. Uh, Copernicus... Uh, 1500 years after the um, the time of Ptolemy uh, started to conclude that geocentrism was yes in fact seen in in the night sky but heliocentrism sun-centered universe um, was definitely what he was witnessing um, and, and certainly he documented it and uh, one of the fun facts weird facts is that he kept this with him to his deathbed even still the church denounced that you know heliocentrism um, was a valid um, theory they they were still under the the god-given right that the earth was the center of the universe uh, but but Copernicus on his deathbed um, you know published everything and, and stated that in fact, we were a, a heliocentric uh, universe. Um, these two models here, the Ptolemaic on the left, uh, illustrates uh, the Earth as the center of our universe with all of the planets, the moon, and the, the sun, everything revolving, um, or I should say orbiting, around the Earth. Um, now, both the Ptolemaic and the Copernican models were... Um, were visualized in the night sky and both showed the faces of Venus both really kind of showed the faces of the moon but the heliocentric model um, 
was was what Copernicus really had the documentation to show and prove. But both were were valid uh, were models that that many people believed. It was just Copernicus really had uh, the evidence to state it at the time, showing the faces of, of Venus. These two slides here uh, further uh, prove that Copernicus and the G or the heliocentric model were in fact what we were seeing in the night sky. Now we did see kind of a geocentric, or what we thought to be geocentric, because of the phases of Venus, but it wasn't a true phase uh, or full phase uh, where we see it in the heliocentricity. If you look at the two slides, uh, the magenta portion of each image of, is of Venus that shows or represents the side which faces the sun, and the green line that divides them uh, shows the, the face towards the earth, or, or divides the side which faces towards the earth uh, from which is hidden from us. Uh, both were visible. Um, we know that Ptolemy had some type of a light magnification which really helped him uh, prove his theory that heliocentricity in fact trumped and was the standard to the day in, in which we'll stand until the test of time over geocentricity. This concludes my presentation of the heliocentric-geocentric debate. I hope that you were entertained, and thank you.